Hey guys, Susie Cole here with Inside the Box this week and your Pittsburgh Riverhounds are coming off their first win of the 2017 season against the once undefeated Charleston Battery. The Battery may have come out on their A game, but your Hounds fought back even harder to come out on top. The battery had four early attempts on goal within the first eight minutes of the match, finally getting their first goal in the eighth minute. The Hounds battled through, though, almost equalizing with a shot off the post by Kevin Kerr late in the first half. The equalizer of the match would come midway through the second half as Marshall Hollingsworth would get a nice layoff pass from Kay Banjo, then scoring his first goal of the 2017 season. As the match seemed inevitable to end in a 1-1 draw, the stoppage time was what made all the difference for the Hounds, as Kevin Kerr sent a cross from the distance to Herzog to get the game-winning goal. The battery had quickly made a comeback, but fortunately for the Hounds, it was called offside and the score was held 2-1 until the final whistle. We spoke with midfielder Marshall Hollingsworth and goalkeeper Trey Mitchell about the win last weekend and how it can bring momentum in tomorrow's match against St. Louis FC. You guys are coming off your first victory of the 2017 season. Tell us a little bit about what that was like for you guys. Uh, I mean, it was great. I mean, it's definitely a big confidence booster. Um, we've been fighting hard. Um, I think the first two games that we had, we were never out of them. But uh, the third game was kind of our reward and how hard we've been working and uh, how hard we worked in the preseason. And going in and playing uh, Charleston at their best, their 2-0, and uh, they were going in for their third victory. We played really well, so to get that win right there and, and then that great last-minute goal from a uh, whipped-in ball from Kevin Kerr and a good solid finish from Corey Herzog, I mean, it was fantastic. So you scored your first goal last weekend of the season and for the Riverhounds. Um, tell us a little bit about what that was like for yourself. I mean, it's, it was exciting. You know, last year I played in the back, so this season getting moved up to the attack has been a blast, and playing with Corey and Kev and Jack predominantly has been fun. And um, you know, the style of play we play here is definitely different and kind of learning how to play in that um, position and all of that has been challenging and to kind of see it open up in the second half of Charleston was a lot of fun. Tomorrow you guys are playing St. Louis FC and they have a really aggressive attack, so how can your defense maybe keep up with that? You know, I think... I think as long as our defense is just relaxed on the ball and um, continues to make good decisions as they've continued to do kind of as the season's gone on, I know it's early, but um, just the past couple of games, they've um, you know begun to get more comfortable with each other and more relaxed back then. As long as they can kind of you know hold on to that, I think they'll do well and um, their decision, decision making has been good. The Hounds will face their second unbeaten opponent within the last week tomorrow against the St. Louis FC. St. Louis is currently ranked third in the standings, so a win tomorrow will boost the boys' momentum going into this weekend when they hit the road to Charlotte. The Hounds' defense has a huge challenge ahead of them as the St. Louis FC's high-powered attack visits Highmark Stadium tomorrow after just scoring six goals in their last two matches. That same aggressive attack has had 24 total shots, with 13 of them being right on target. Tomorrow also marks the return of former Hound and league MVP Jose Angulo. Angulo scored the first ever goal here at Highmark Stadium, almost five years to the day. So don't forget your Pittsburgh Riverhounds will be playing here at Highmark Stadium tomorrow at 7 p.m. against the St. Louis Football Club. The match will start at 7, but the gates will be open as early as 6 p.m. If you can't make the match, you can always watch along on the USL Match Center or follow along on the Hounds Instagram and Twitter channels. That's all from me this week. I'm Susie Cole, and that was Inside the Box.